Hello guys, welcome to Merz Benz King. So it has been four years now and here it is, the new C-Class facelift. And as you guys know, I drive the pre-facelift model of this car. Uh, so in this video, I will show you the exterior, the interior, and of course the difference. So what has actually changed? You can already see it here in the front, uh, but first I will show you the key because it's the new design for Mercedes-Benz with the matte black and metal design. And I also got my key right here. So you can see in size, it's not that much of a difference. The quality is also comparable. It's only the looks that really changed. So I will first start with the front of the car. It has the new multi-beam LED headlights and it says 84 on it. So it actually has 84 LEDs per headlight. And I will just unlock the car to show you how, this, how the lights illuminate, because it's gorgeous. Amazing. And on the top it also has those little points, dots. It has one stripe and that's for the C-Class, two stripes for the E-Class and three stripes for the S-Class. So in the front you can also see that it has the diamond grill and one horizontal line, and that comes standard for the C-Class nowadays. The pre-facelift had two lines, just like mine. It also has the Distonic Plus, so the Mercedes star is closed. But on top of that, it still has a 3D Mercedes uh, print that sticks out. It has the blacked out Mercedes star on the top of the hood. And overall, this is the C180 petrol engine with a gorgeous white, diamond white color and the night package, so it has the blacked out side mirrors and blacked out bumper nib. Furthermore, you can see that this one has the AMG package, so it has the large, very elegant AMG bumper on the side, with also an air intake, and that's actually very practical because the air blows through it and goes around the car for aerodynamics. If we now go over to the side of the car, you can really see that the front just goes beautiful into the side, especially with this new air intake. And as I mentioned, this is the AMG model, I mean the AMG line. So it has the new bumpers and side bumper and also the AMG rims. So if you get the AMG line in Germany, in Holland or in Europe, then you get these rims as standard. It is a little bit thicker on the side, blacked out five spoke rims and the size is 225, 45, 18 inch. And they are gorgeous. Just look at the car. On the sides, you can't really see that much of a difference with the pre-facive model. It actually still has the lines, the upper line and the line down here, which connects beautiful in the rear. And with the E-Class, you could see that these lines go straight over the line of the car. It has the panoramic roof and furthermore, it doesn't really show much of a difference with the pre facelift model. But therefore we go to the rear of the car and I will just show you more. So the difference isn't really noticeable, but there's one huge difference and that's the new tail lights. You can already see it a little bit. The line goes from here and it goes back, but it doesn't connect with the start. So I will just unlock the car again, then you can see how this light illuminates. And you can really see that this is a beautiful technology, new designed tail light. It's gorgeous. I really like it. The pre model also had um, about the same uh, size of the tail light, but I don't know if it is actually no, it's it's it's, it's still the same uh, size. And I do like the tail lights that are a little bit more horizontal and just uh, more stretched over the rear. But the new one is also very gorgeous. It is the C180, so the petrol engine with the 156 horsepower, and there are also a new line of engines. But I will also show you that later on in the video. 
Some more noticeable things are here with the rear diffuser. It is uh, blacked out because of the night package, as I mentioned, uh, but it's also different. It's more elegant. The exhaust system is the same. It looks the same. Uh, this is the petrol version, so it does have real exhaust in them. With the diesel version, you only get the design exhausts and there's just one or two pipes uh, at one side of the car. So yes, it's a gorgeous rear, especially with this new tail lights. So let's have a look at the interior. Gorgeous. So guys, as you can see, the interior is just lovely. It's also very, it feels home to me. I'm used to this uh, design of the C-Class. It, it still has the beautiful center console with the three air vents, but it now has new technology, a new, very fancy steering wheel and a larger uh, infotainment system. So it doesn't have the keyless entry, this specific model, but it does have the keyless go. So I will just put my key here at the cup holders. You can leave it also in your pocket, of course. And then it has this button right here. Same as in the E-Class. So I will just press the button for the electronics to work. And here you can see Mercedes-Benz. So let's have a look at the new steering wheel. It is gorgeous with the beautiful Mercedes store in the middle. A flat button AMG line steering wheel. It has these new buttons on the side to control the infotainment system in front of you and on the right also the same buttons with the touchpad to control the infotainment system in the center. You can already see that this is way larger than the pre-facelift model. It's a wider and this is straight from the A-Class. It is 11.2 inches. And the screen in front of us is from the E-Class. So it is actually a dual screen, but still it, it is on the top of the, of the dash. You still have these chrome elements around it, which is typical for the C-Class. And it gives a little bit of a sporty feeling, a back button. And then you can just swipe. It has navigation, radio, media, telephone, and design. So if I press this one, I can change it into sport, classic, and progressive. And you can see it changes very fast, especially compared to the E-Class and S-Class. I have a look at this screen. You can also control it with the touchpad. I will ju just press the home button. Then you have these fast options, navigation, radio, media, telephone, in-car, office, so you have internet connectivity and vehicle settings. You can also use this touchpad in the center and the scroller. And that one is of course way more practical than the one on the steering, steering wheel. There are 64 different colors that you can choose from. You have the blue. There is green, yellow, a little bit whitish, and more thicker colors like blue, red. And pink, of course. Furthermore, you have the engine data to see how much kilowatts you're using. So convert it to convert it to horsepower and newton meters of torque. So let me just start the engine and we can listen to the sound of the C180 Pedro.
and as you can hear this is the C180 and it has an amazing sound if I press the parking button then the 360 degrees camera will be activated so this is the 360 degrees camera and it actually is full HD so you can also see the that the quality is just amazing the front camera side cameras so from the back seat you can see that I do have decent am amount of space for the leg room my head is just nearly touching the roof but it's okay I can sit here for longer trips and the interior is just amazing how it looks with the new steering wheel and the center console so guys that was it for the C-Class facelift if you want to see a driving video of this car then just wait for it I will upload it and thanks for watching I'll see you soon guys bye bye